Hey, how you doing guys? For this week, we're gonna take a look at a newly uh, released version of Maxon's uh, Cinebench R20. Um, of course, Cinebench is a very popular uh, benchmark for tech reviewers, power users, and system builders um, for the Windows and Mac platform. And the older version, the R15, has, has been quite long in the tooth. In fact, I think it's been out for over a decade. Haven't really checked on that exactly, but it's been a long time. So this is actually a major update that um, allows you to test more accurately um, newer technology such as uh, ray tracing, AVX, AVX2, and AVX512 instruction sets. Also, the thread count has been um, also raised. On the R15, you could test up to 64 threads. And the R20, you can uh, now go to 256 threads. Um, of course, this is, makes a lot of sense since now we use multi-core, really high multi-core counts and threaded counts as well. Plus, um, eight times the CPU load, testing load, and uh, uses four times more RAM. So um, it's good they finally seen they up, updated it for newer technology. Now, also major things that they did with this is they got rid of OpenGL testing. Now, really Cinebench has never been good at GPU testing, even the older R15, and that's because it's pretty much locked to the CPU. Uh, now, what I mean by that is that even if you update it with the latest and greatest GPU and retest it, you're gonna find that you're gonna get about the same or maybe a little bit higher score than the uh, previous test, which means uh, that's kind of why it's locked to the CPU. So I can see why they kind of removed the OpenGL. And of course, OpenGL has it is going to be probably depreciated or it's not going to be supported anymore because I know Apple dropped support officially in their Mac OS. So eventually they're going to lose uh, use of OpenGL in many applications. So it makes sense to uh, maybe remove it. Of course, nowadays, um, more applications, more and more is using the GPU um, for things like gaming, motion graphics, video editing, and visual effects. So I think to really uh, be up to par, I'd like to see them add uh, graphic testing, uh, even for their own uh, Maxon, I believe it's Cine, uh, Cinema 4D, I think that's the uh, application. I don't use it myself, I use some other ones. So it would be good to see they uh, support uh, graphic intensive applications for testing, but it is what it is. Also, this change is you cannot download the standalone Cinebench application anymore. You have to go through the Windows or Mac App Store and download it from there. Uh, and the most part for me, it's actually more convenient considering um, any new updates that come along. I, I simply uh, put it into my regular automatic updating scheme with uh, Mac OS. Uh, of course, Windows, the same thing. So uh, give me your thoughts on this uh, new Cinebench R20. And until then, as always, um, thank you for watching and see you guys later.